We're leaving Half Boom Bay today. We're heading into San Francisco. If you missed that episode, go ahead and check out last week's episode. It was a good one. We stayed with our veterans at the American Legion Bar. Nick found a 24 hour parking lot that we're gonna try and boondock in near a police station. So we're gonna try that and see if we have any luck there and go check out the city. Come with us today and check out San Francisco. Wherever I go, I will always know everything I need is right here with me. It's time to let it all go. Okay, so there's a little confusion with the parking lot we're in. It's part of the school. It's not marked. It's unclear whether or not we're gonna be we can be here. So we're gonna try it out. There are sheriffs in the parking lot, so hopefully our stuff is safe. Because in San Francisco, people will steal things off the outside of your vehicle, and we've got some bikes and some cargo boxes and our dishy. So hopefully we're safe here. We will find out. We'll let you guys know. we're doing here is installing a blink doorbell. We pulled into this uh, parking lot in San Francisco, actually talked to the San Francisco PD, and they gave us permission to be here. We're, I mean, I was really surprised. I thought we kind of had to stealth it, and I was a little worried about it. It was like, oh no, you guys are good to be here. Um, it's public parking. But he said, theft is a big deal around here. And I, I kind of already knew that going in. So we put new lock cylinders on the uh, Thule bike racks. So everything's locked down. And then I went over to Best Buy and I bought Blink wireless camera system um, with the doorbell and the cameras. I got five cameras. So we're gonna have it linked up to our Wi-Fi or Starlink. And it's not a security system, it's just a surveillance system, um, which, you know, if somebody wants in here, it's not gonna stop them, but at least I'll have video of it. It'll, it'll make me feel better. The San Francisco PD officer that Charles has been uh, watching this parking lot, and he said, uh, he said really the number one thing that we gotta worry about is these bicycles. And his, uh, <laughs> his advice was just kiss him goodbye. <laughs> he, he was not very encouraging at all. Um, he, said, he said our little locks aren't gonna stop anybody. They got power tools, they just, they just cut everything, take a bike. And that's, the bicycles are like the number one theft thing in San Francisco, apparently. They could take a sawzall to this bar and be gone in like 60 seconds or less. There we go. There, I can see you. And this is a two-way communication, so I can talk to whoever's out here. Be like, go away. <laughs> We're not home. We are home. I'm coming to get you. Yeah, it goes. Okay. It's the Trixie Cam. It's the Trixie Cam. Trixie, you're a good girl. Hey, Trixie, dog. Hey, baby girl. Trixie, go lay down. <laughs> I know, he's a man in the wall. Let's go to bed. Come on, go to bed. Let's go to bed. Go in. So here we are in San Francisco. We just boondocked in a parking lot for $35 for the night, for a 24 hour period actually. And this is a fenced in parking area and this is where the police park here. Um, so I feel like this is a very safe place. Uh, we're parked right next to uh, one of the police trailers. I did talk to the police department out here and they did say that there was break-ins still in this parking lot. So um, we went out and got 
a bunch of security cameras. And although those aren't going to stop a break in, uh, it will give us peace of mind. So we can monitor the camper and make sure Trixie's safe. We're going to go down to the Embarcadero today and go explore Pier 39 and all the touristy stuff in San Francisco. So let's go on an adventure. Alrighty, well, we're walking through San Francisco. We got the camper all set up. I was just checking on Trixie on the Blink app and she's all happy. We can talk to her now and I can see what the temperature is in the camper. So it's nice. I really like that system. We decided to just be on foot today. That way we can catch a cab if we want to, take public transit, rent e-scooters, go on a ferry, whatever we feel like doing, we have no limitations. It's not the, the cleanest or the safest feeling town we've been in, but we've been here before. It's San Francisco, you just be mindful. Yeah. So we're gonna go down to the Embarcadero and check all the activities out down there. I don't think Nick's ever been there or he doesn't remember, so that'll be fun. There's a lot of stuff to do down there. It's nice, it's right on the coast. Sounds of the city. <laughs> Ambulances, car alarms, buses, corn, people smoking crack on the corner. You know. Yep. <laughs> San Francisco. Yep. I love the city by the bay. So here's a metro station if we need one, it looks like. There's like a big conference hall down here. We are currently on the south side of the Embarcadero. We're gonna walk all the way around. That's where Pier 39 is. That's where a lot of the fun touristy activities are. So we'll follow the water line down here. What did you think about that walk? It was nice. It wasn't so bad. Mm -hmm. Not too terrible. It's a nice day today. It's like 75 degrees out. <sighs> Feeling good. Happy to be here. In our little city down by the bay. Never actually seen that happen. Oh, check out the trolley. So we can see Pier 39 now. You can tell by the churro stand and the aquarium of the bay. The aquarium is a nice little tiny one. It's good and short for kids that are interested in the ocean. We're also seeing a hard rock cafe and city tours to the Golden Gate Bridge. So as you can see here, it's definitely got a different vibe. There's a lot more touristy down at Pier 39. There's a lot more to do. So let's go check out. What is the iconic restaurant of San Francisco? The iconic places that people like to eat here that are well known are Bubble Gums, which there's a few of those throughout the country, so they're not, it's not like just here in this location. They've got um, a sourdough company, I think you pronounce it Bodine, but you can buy that bread all over, it's in the stores, it's really good sourdough bread, and you get a chowder bowl. That's probably the best thing to do on a chilly day here, but today we've got fresh fruit markets. Lots of fun places, depends on your preference, but there's a lot to choose from here on Pier 39. Waffle cones smell really good. And the iconic carousel at the end of the pier. You beautiful light. You can see the Golden Gate Bridge and Alcatraz from this location. We were considering doing an Alcatraz tour today, but we wanted to make sure that our Camper was going to be safe and Trixie was going to be safe while we're away since that police officer made us a little nervous, but we'll check it out. It seems to be doing all right today, so maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Grab some grub. Mm-hmm. So we decided to have lunch with the view, so we walked all the way down to the end, and I think we're going to go to Players. Wow. 
that's good. So we got some nachos. Nick got a pina colada. And we got a great view sitting out here at the Luau Lounge and the backside of players. So behind me you'll see the USS Pampatino. It's a military submarine that you can go take a tour on. We just stumbled across it down here at the end of the Embarcadero. Currently going to the San Francisco Sourdough Factory. They bake fresh bread here daily. It's the best sourdough ever. It's got the best flavor. And we just met a man. We're gonna buy him and his family a sandwich for tonight. And we're gonna need a little bit of grub for our set. Bless your heart. Yeah, you got it. Our two talent nations will let us to next tonight. Okay. This parking lot over here by the Best Buy is fantastic um, for mood knocking. This is, I would venture to say this is probably the, by far the best boondocking in all of San Francisco, um, without a question. It is $35 a night, but that's well worth it. It's fairly quiet as far as San Francisco goes. So, you know, that that buzzing that, noise every 20 seconds or so is. Yeah, there, there are noises, but you're in a big city, you know, that's bound to happen. Um, but nobody's bothered us. Uh, there are police running in and out of this place all day long. I have cameras that are motion detected and I would say every 15 minutes consistently all day long there's cop cars running past my motion detector. I have video footage of it. I talked to those officers and they're totally cool with us spending the night here. They just said, you know, break-ins are a real thing, even with them coming around as often as they do. Um, but they told us they'd keep an eye on our rig for us, which was really cool. So if you guys are watching this, thank you for that. What I was thinking tomorrow morning, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get up at the butt crack of dawn and Trixie and I are gonna jump in the truck and we're gonna drive down to the ocean beach by Golden Gate Park. From what I hear, it's free parking down there. We will be probably the first people to park there, get a great spot with an awesome ocean view and somewhere maybe we can even pop the slide out and enjoy the space. And then we'll relax, watch the sunrise, have our breakfast, drink our coffee on the beach and do a little editing, make these videos for you guys, and maybe even go for a bike ride over into Golden Gate Park and go venture around into there and see what that's all about. I think it's gonna be a good day. Yeah, basically this, this parking spot is like perfectly centrally located. I mean, we went down to the Fisherman's Wharf today and had a great time. It's a neat little find. I Overlander, it's got the secrets. Don't tell anybody, shh. Interested in joining our travel crew? Head on over to our Patreon page and buy us a mile. All proceeds go towards bringing better content to you. Thank you for watching this episode. We really appreciate every view. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing so you'll never miss another episode. And we'll see you next Tuesday for another adventure.